this evening. So please join me on your mat. You might want a couple of blankets and possibly a block. See how it goes. I'm going to invite you to sit on your blankets. Okay? And you might even want to just to give you a little bit more height. You're going to be in cross-legged pose for a little bit of time. So I'm going to give you a few breaths to go get whatever it is you need. And if you have everything and you're ready and you're on your mat, sit with your legs crossed. And just start to slow your breath down. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Letting your hands rest upon your knees. Again, if you're just joining, please feel welcome to grab a couple of blankets or some throw cushions, if you have a block or a book, whatever you need. And just sitting on your mats and sit on your blankets or your cushion just to get your hips a little higher than your knees. I'm going to spend a little bit of time in cross-legged pose. Breath is through the nose. So as we slow everything down, we start to move our breath with a little bit more mindfulness. So as you inhale, inhaling into the chest, and feel your ribcage expand and feel your belly expand. As you exhale, your belly gently draws in towards the spine. The rib cage contracts and the chest lowers. So inhaling, feeling that sense of expansion. As you exhale, feeling that sense of contraction. So we're inhaling through the nose, inhaling, feeling the chest expand and then the belly. And the exhale, feeling the belly gently draw towards the spine. The rib cage contracts. So just sitting with this breath, just taking a couple more breaths. And maybe setting an intention. For the practice this evening. I invite you to share an intention. I invite you to share that intention, be conscious, mindful throughout the practice of the breath that we're doing right now. And one more time, as you inhale the breath into the chest, the rib cage expands, belly expands. As you exhale, the belly gently contracts, then the rib cage, the chest lowers. So let's change the cross of our legs. And Holding on to your shins, we're going to use that breath and we're going to move in and out of cat cow. So as you inhale, you're lifting the chest up, lifting the chin. As you exhale, rolling back on your sit bones. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale, coming back. As you inhale, lifting up through the crown of the head and lifting the crown, lifting the chin, lifting the chest. 
And then as I exhale, I fold into the glutes. I ramp out the back and draw the shoulders. So it's a stretch across my back as well as the length of the spine. And we'll just do a couple more of these. Harmonizing a movement to a breath. The next time that you find yourself in an inhale, coming back to a neutral spine, hands on the knees, and we'll just make circles. So kind of a Sufi grind. Just making some circles again, just working through the length of the spine. Letting the shoulders join in. Or well, maybe going in the other direction. Again, we want the 
the shin is kind of crossing at center. The feet are flexed. the right. 
right toes, and we'll find warrior two leg. So let's have the knee in line with the toe next to the big toe, and let's have the knee over the ankle. Weight is evenly placed on both feet, so feel all four corners of your feet on the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Stretch your fingers again, just as we did before. Draw the base of the palms towards each other. Turn up the right palm, and again, we're inhaling, lifting up. Final lift through the ribs. Take a big breath here. Take an exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, let's bring the forearm down onto the side. Stretch out with the left fingers. From here, if it's available, we're still focused on the lift. But if it's available, bring your fingertips towards the floor. Or you walk. If you can turn your hand from your shoulder socket, you can bring the arm in line with the ear. And again, go to where you're ready to go to. Perfect. Okay, on your next exhale, let's turn, bring that left hand down, turn the back foot. And we're gonna step all the way back into a down facing dog. So find your dog here. Press through the hands, pull the arches of the palms up, bring the weight into the thumb side of the hand, press down through your heel, even if they're not touching the floor, draw the energy down. And then as you're ready, inhale, let's take up the left leg, and then we'll exhale, and we'll slip it through. Bring the knee down. Okay. And then from here, we're going to bring the left hand to the left hip. So we're stacking those shoulders again. So the twist is running up through the spine. If you can look over your shoulder, look over your shoulder. And then as you're ready, we'll bring the hand back in. We'll come up into a little bit of a higher lunge now. If you need to keep your knee down, keep the knee down. So push into the back foot, hands on the hips, set yourself up here. Knee is still in line with the toe next to the big toe. Toes are light, four corners of the front foot and the ball of the back foot are holding you steady. Inhale, lift the arms up, reach for the ceiling. Beautiful. And then again, exhale, let's bring the hands down. Turn that back foot, walk the hands to the hips. Hello. So from here, again, if you can come into a forward fold, just coming into a forward fold, maybe you can add on a little interlacing of the fingers, let the arms fall away from your body. Bring those fingertips back to the hip. A little bend in the knee, let's come up to standing. So, bring the arms out in front. We'll turn the left toes. And we'll sit down into the left knee. So, shoulders are over the hips. Hips are centered to the feet. All four corners of the feet are pressing down. Toes are light. Find your pose here. Draw the heel of the palm towards each corner. And we'll turn the palm up. Again, finding that lift here. Left fingers reach up as we reach down with the right fingers. Taking a nice deep breath here. And then a big exhale. Inhale, we'll come back to warrior two. And then exhale, we'll come in to extend this side out. So again, this is just light here. We're not leaning, we're not collapsing. Okay? We're finding the lift through the right side of the body. Bring that right arm up. And this might be enough. If you're able to, you can bring your left fingers towards the floor. Or you can have your block to catch your hand. But just remember, fingers are light. They're not collapsing. They're not falling into the pose. 
pose. We're finding the lift through the right side of the body. Turn the palm. Maybe you can bring the arm in line with the ear. And on your next exhale, bring the hand down. We'll turn the toes. We'll step back. We'll come into a down facing dog. So again, find that stretch through the armpit. Draw the heels towards the floor, even if they're not touching. Find the weight through the knuckles, the heel of the palm. Weight a little bit more towards the thumb side. Find your stretch here. One more breath. Scoop your bum up. When you're next, exhale, you can walk, step, or jump your feet to your hands. And we'll come into forward fold. So with that forward fold, if you need a little bend in your knees, put a little bend in your knees. When an inhale, lift the chest up, lift the chin. So there's a little bit of a stretch through the throat and a little bit of a squeeze in the neck. And then on the exhale, again, if you need to bend the knees a little bit, bend the knees, rest the belly on the thighs. Inhale to raise, coming up. So finding that breath. Chest to belly as you inhale, belly, chest as you exhale. Come into your forward fold, rack all, let the belly rest on the leg. And inhale, lifting up. Lift the legs together. 
gonna have the power coming through your legs. Beautiful. And then exhale, slowly coming in. Finish your exhale, and then let's inhale, come back up. Exhale, coming down. Notice if you can come up a little bit more. If you need to let your heels pull open, you can do that, but keep pressing your legs down. Inhale, pulling the chest forward and up. Again, just inviting your body to come up. Exhale, coming down. We'll do one more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. We'll curl the toes under. We'll push up and back into child pose. So for child pose, belly can rest on the side, forehead on the mat. Arms down by your sides, toes and fingers together. And bring your palms under your shoulders to take a little weight out of your head. If that's really uncomfortable, knees are wide, just stretch your arms out in front. And if you realize that child pose just isn't something that your knees like at all, sit on your bum, bend your knees. Interlace your fingers and let your head dangle. Again, just feeling your breath through the back of the body. Inhale and feeling that sense of expansion. And as you exhale, feeling your body sink down towards the ground.
shoulders relax. Okay. If you need something under your knees, put something under your knees. Again, we'll just be here for another breath or two. For those of you that don't need anything, that's fine. Just notice if you're stretching all in your lower back. Okay, we want to find some stretch through the length of the back body. So inhale, let's come up. I'm going to scooch down on our backs. We're going to come into figure four pose. So if you know that, that you know, if, when you do your forward fold, you're kind of here, you're going to probably want a blanket for your head to rest on. And you might even want a blanket or a block to just tuck under your bum to give you a little bit of lift. So let's lay down. So if you're resting your head on a blanket, that's great. If you think you might like to rest your bum on a block or a cushion, lay down first, lift yourself up, and then you can put the block under you. We'll take the right foot to the left knee. We're going to take the right hand so the right hand is like this thread going through the eye of the needle, okay? And we can catch underneath the knee, and the left hand comes around the outside edge. And let's just draw the knee towards the body. And then we're going to keep the shape with our legs. We're going to release the hands and let that left foot lower down. Bring the arms out to your sides and keeping that figure four shape with your legs, we're going to lift the bum and scoop over to the right just an inch and let the leg and then the knee and the foot come down together towards the left. So you can think about turning your head. And again, you can turn your head to the left or to the right. See how it feels. Next time you exhale, but well, let's say you inhale, let's bring the head back to center. And as you exhale, draw the belly towards the spine using that breath and bring the knees back. Bring the bum back and release the right foot. Take the breath here. Okay, so let's bring that left foot to the right knee. Okay, from here we'll take the left hand through the legs, right hand around the side and catch under your knee, taking a breath or two here. And then let's release the hands, keep the legs the same. If your bum is on a block, it's probably going to be a little easier if you come off it. But you can stay up if you want to, just don't let your knees come too far over. Bring the arms out and to the sides. We're going to scoot the bum to the left a little bit and we'll bring the foot and the knee down towards the floor. And again, you can decide if you want to turn your head to the left or to the right. And next time you inhale, let's come back to center. And then exhale, drawing the belly towards the spine. Bring the feet, the knees back. Bring the hips back. Release the foot down. And we're going to make our way into Shavasana. So for your Shavasana, have the option, if you've got stuff going on in your lower back, you can keep your knees bent, let your feet be met with, let your knees touch as you come down by your sides. If your back feels kind of okay to stretch out, but it just feels a little awkward, then just put a blanket or a pillow under your thighs. That'll give you just a little bit more stability. Arms down by your sides. Have a little space between your arms and your body. You let your feet be a little wider than the hip width. And then let your whole body soften here. Just take a nice deep breath in. And through the mouth, deep sigh. Inhale again. 
Exhale, deep side through the mat. Letting go of tension. Do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale, let the breath go. Letting go of doing anything now with the breath. Allow the body to breathe itself. Let the ground beneath you hold the weight of your body. Allow your body to lean against the ground. Inhale, and exhale, let the breath go. Bring some movement to your fingers and to your toes. Stretch the arms up overhead, or make circles with the ankles and with the wrists in the other direction. And then as you're ready, bring your knees into your chest. And have your arms around your legs, Rock from side to side. And then as you're ready, let's roll over onto the side, rest your head upon your arm, and take a breath here. Be here, curled up in a sideline toe pose. Allow yourself to be here. And slowly pressing down through your hands. And start to lever yourself up to sit in. Let your hand be the last thing to come up. So I invite you to sit up nice and tall. We'll close our practice. We'll chunk one arm together. And we'll think about something that you are in gratitude for. Bring your hands together. Thumbs to the heart center, take a big inhale. And exhale, let the breath go. Now let's inhale to close. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful evening.